So I better get to work before You're damn right, you better go to work. And if you don't do it, I'll find myself somebody else. And she can go to Hawaii in one of these little babies. Meet Mother Boyle, the sharp-tongued Gert Boyle, president of Columbia Sportswear, and thanks to her advertising campaign, a cult figure in the sportswear industry. She and her son Tim took this company from near bankruptcy 18 years ago and turned it into a thriving, rapidly growing industry leader. Getting to this point, though, was not easy. It began when Gert and her parents escaped from Nazi Germany in 1937. In front of our house, you know, they had a written Jew and all that. I mean, it was, it, it, the hatred was going on, and it was the highest time we got out. Her father, here on the right, owned Germany's largest shirt factory, but he came to the U.S. nearly penniless. With the help of family and friends, he bought a small Portland hat company, which later became Columbia Sportswear. In 1950, Gert's husband joined the company, and eventually he became its president. However, he died of a heart attack in 1970, right after taking out a substantial loan, using his and Gert's house as collateral. I had two choices. Either I'd say, take it now, or I'll fight you for it. And I've always been rather feisty, and so I said, I'll fight you for it. The trouble is, she didn't have much ammunition. He made every mistake he could possibly make. Neither she nor her son, who dropped out of college to help her, had any business experience. Together, they just about ran Columbia Sportswear right into the ground. We tried to sell the company, and the best offer we got was $1,400, which was probably three times its true value. If they call Kurt me, Boyle faced the loss things. of all that she owned, so she made a decision, one that established her image as a hard-nosed business person. I had had it up to here, and I fired everybody, and we started all over again. And it worked. She hired the right people, set new product and sales goals, and brought a failing company that in 1971 had only a half million dollars in annual sales to a $50 million company today. The one product concept that put Columbia Sportswear on the map is this guy, the quad. Made for hunters, it's actually two jackets in one, and the inner jacket is reversible, so you can wear it four different ways. But hunters make up only a small market. The big sales boost came when Columbia translated the quad concept to ski wear. This is the bugaboo, and Columbia will sell nearly 200,000 bugaboos this year. That success comes from a combination of quality clothing and imaginative advertising. Columbia Sportswear's ads call Gert Mother Boyle and portray her as a demanding taskmaster and a tough old bird. You're not going to get what you want in this world unless you tell somebody that that's what you want. And if, you know, if you come across as tough, then that's just the way it is. She really personifies the image of uh, Mother Boyle and making sure that this, the products that we put out are quality products. Columbia Sportswear's success means Gert can now afford, as she puts it, to move from the valley up into the hills. Have I got a view here? I mean, it is wonderful. She also has more time, so she works with a number of civic organizations. But she hasn't forgotten her roots. I certainly have enough money to do with as I wish. But I still don't buy a head of lettuce if it's more than 89 cents. I just don't. I've been brought up that way. Mother Boyle, a tough old bird at work and at the grocery store. Jeff Sangstack, News 8.